what's going on guys so in this video I have to do a couple things I have to run to Harbor Freight if they have a power probe I want to buy one because they're useful and if they do if they have it and I buy it then I want to fix my seats and my Z because while it's down I want to get it ready to actually be able to drive so I want to do a little bit here and there with my interior maybe mess with some speakers I don't know but um yeah that's what I'm up to hands down the most beat beamers are x5s changed my mind that shit just had camber shit dude same weekend as the freaking the riding day I gotta come here friday just took the fattest l guys the fattest l Well, now that we're at the shop, I um, guess I should just get started with my car and check this all out. Seems as though I do in fact still have an oil leak, so that sucks. That means I have to buy new oil. That means I have to reseal whatever the hell is leaking. So let's go take a look at that first because that's an annoying sight to see the first thing I walk in. Boom! Look at this trash, guys. I'm pissed. Like, where is it coming from? I, do, I literally have no idea. So that bolt thing is completely fucking dry. The back plate has oil on it, which is not sick. Where it's coming from, though, I have no idea. But that is a considerable amount for being here for friggin' a day. So first things first, I said I wasn't going to do it because no voltmeter, but I'm going to do it. Regardless of the voltmeter, I don't need a damn voltmeter, guys. All right, I'm a human voltmeter. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some wire, put it on the battery, put it on what I think is the positive to the seats, ground it, and then try to move the seat. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We'll see, I don't know. But I wanna be able to bolt these damn seats in today. All right, well, as far as I can see, this is, uh, these are the wires right here, boom. That's what I'm gonna need. All right, so theoretically, out of the wires I have in my hand, which you can't really see, these right here. So two black, that's definitely ground. Thickest other one is white, all right? And then we have gray and gray-red and then brown, which I don't know what that is. Maybe switched power? I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and take some jumper cables and uh, some spare wire and... See what I can get the seats to do. One ground on the engine, one positive on the positive. Let's see what's going on. Does it spark? Yes. Good. All right. Let's see if the motor works. Hey. That's it. Oh, the whole thing works. I don't even know what the hell those other wires are. Probably accessory, but... Dude, that's it. Now all I gotta do is search for a switched 12 volt. All right, so I have found a, a switched 12 volt off of the ignition that goes to the fuse box, which is fused. So it goes from there, down into here, across and right here into the seat, which is gonna tie into this white wire right here. And that will be good. If anyone asks guys, the green is ground, all right? So you too, future me, remember the green is the ground. I know just enough to wire stupid stuff like this, but I figured it out and that's what that's all that matters and I'm excited about that. Man. Oh yeah, come all the way forward. Now I got to do the back. Tight. Oh, does this work? Oh, that's so mint. All right, weird news. Not bad news, not good news, but just odd news. I seem to have misplaced the damn harness that goes from like here to here to here and then has the main plug coming off of it. Shit. I don't know, guys. I think I broke the switch, honestly, to be honest. I don't know. Whatever, I'll buy a new switch. I'm gonna leave my reaction to me probably. 
I'm pretty sure I caught me breaking the switch, like on camera. And I think it was pretty funny. I was just like, shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I immediately was like, you know what? I just broke that shit, so. <laughs> oh, dude, that's about, about to touch the freaking. <laughs> Try to get that leak figured out. Oh no. This thing is magnetic, so it's actually pretty dope. Yeah, see? Just you just do that. Alright, well. That's it for that. Uh doesn't appear to be leaking anymore. So hopefully it is uh gonna be dry and clean enough to actually hold up the damn RTV. All right, well, that's like pretty much hand snug. I'm gonna wait, I don't know, an hour, two hours, maybe tomorrow, tighten it down all the way and then put some oil in it and uh, see what happens if not then my guess is there's a part on the block where it's kind of separate and uh you're supposed to put some rtv there on ls's so if uh and i did put rtv there but maybe i didn't you know let it cure maybe it had some oil on it something like that something stupid but if it's not this it's probably that and i'll fix that too it's not a big deal but i had to drain that oil anyway because it was dookie but yeah there there that goes for now got some finicky things done that i've been wanting to do and i figured you know what what better time than you know i literally can't do anything else to the car because waiting on the clutch which update on the clutch they hit me up and they were like hey let me get away from this fan i checked the order status and the wrong email was on it for some reason but i guess they emailed me and i was like and they they were like hey the, that clutch has been discontinued, which I don't understand why. And they were like, this clutch is the same, will hold up to the same, uh, do you wanna switch? And I'm like, yeah. I was just like, hey, like, how long do you think it's gonna take to get here? Because it's kind of a bummer. I've been kind of waiting on this because, you know, I ordered it or whatever, and I was just like, hey, like, how long do you think? So, waiting for a response from them. Hopefully they get that, you know, sorted and shipped quick so I can get the content to you guys quick. And uh, yeah, so that's it for tonight. Hopefully that fixes that stupid little oil leak. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow when I put oil in it. And it's just dope that I have, you know, working seats now. Now that I can get in the car and not worry about putting something behind the seat or have the seat tip back or whatever, just turn the damn key. That's it. I'm signing out for the night, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow where I think we're going to be doing some drift prep on Callie's car because I'm really, really trying to get her to an event ASAP. Like, I need her to drive. This car has been sitting, and it's just, like, building up, building up suspense, and it's, like, almost, like, no hope. You know what I mean? So, like, I want her. Like, I, I, I helped her out getting the engine, swapping it in, you know, getting the car, stuff like that. But, like at the end of the day like she still needs to drive the car it's sitting here is doing nothing you know what i mean and like even though she freaked out that time she was having a blast so that's what that, like her drifting means more to me than me drifting as stupid as that sounds to some of you guys i really need you guys to be supportive because she's super super nervous about this she's nervous about like messing up and like getting judged by like people in the comments and like all this stuff like she's genuinely nervous about all this stuff so I, I really need you guys to be supportive like even like even if you have the urge to be even if it's a joke you're like, oh dude like she sucks like you know there's a first time for everything she's just learning she's never drifted most she's done is, is what you guys have seen those donuts and that's impressive because that's better than I, what I did when I was when I first got my Z I was horrible but she needs to drive this thing she needs your guys' support. She's my girlfriend. I have to help her with anything. That's my job. And one of those things is driving. And it's something that she's really wanted to do for the longest time. She's been telling me for a long, long time, oh, I want a rear-wheel drive car. It's just so fun. Like, 
like I like riding passenger with you but like I want to drift too this and that and like she's finally there you know what I mean so we need to get her situated ASAP sorry for this long ass spiel guys I'm still trying to make this video like super super short but anyways yeah that's the plans I want to get Callie drifting ASAP obviously I'm gonna get drifting ASAP too but this is my main focus until the clutch comes in and then and then I'll get started on this again and yeah so hope you guys are looking forward to that content again you can't expect someone who's brand new to something to be nasty immediately I have hope in her she has no hope she's like I'm gonna spin out blah blah like when I tell you guys I'm not exaggerating because she's my girlfriend she has natural talent and I think she's gonna be good you know it's, it's not gonna be immediate but she's gonna get there and it's gonna be meant and she's gonna send it She's gonna freaking bug out. VQ's gonna blow up eventually. We're gonna put 5.3 in. I, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. A lot of talking. A lot of talking. But anyways, thank you for listening to all of this spiel if you did because I'm gonna have to leave a good amount of it in because I really want to get this point across. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell. I post every single day at 12 o'clock. And I will see you guys next time with some work on the Blue Z. Peace out.